Here's the other thing that, Greg, we need to make real to everyone. At the point those orders are given and taken in, nothing will will work. You won't be able to go to and take your Visa, MasterCard, American Express, whatever, Discover, and buy anything. The question that I'm asked in my emails, I believe you got it from the same guy, which comes first? Do they start rounding up people before the financial? Do they uh, initiate the financial cyber attack on the bank? I don't know how it will work, but if you understand the communist plan and takeover, and by the way, I call, you know, forget the word socialism. We are under the full-scale commification, the communist takeover of the United States from the inside. The commification of the United States is fully underway. What Greg has been speaking about law enforcement, I'd also like to share with the military. Obviously, those of you who are men and women of conscience who pray, all of your records are known now. But guess who they're also known to? They're known to every Muslim terrorist group who has complete access to every database that has been provided for them by their uh, controls or those who are in the highest levels of the intelligence community within the United States. It's kind of uh, a telling, Greg, and Doug, you will appreciate this, just the amount of intel, how, in essence, your tax dollars are paying, especially for the military, for your assassination. And if you notice, the veterans are being uh, denied more and more and more benefits. Yet today, uh, it was announced that the Iranian students are getting $400 million. But, hey, there's a little bit of light on the horizon. Uh, even Iran saying, hey, wait a minute, the United States government totally is lying, oh, hello, about the agreement reached. And I don't know if you've seen the headlines, it's on Drudge. So here is the issue. Our Lord and Savior, my Lord and Savior, Jesus made the statement, the whole world lies in the evil one. If those of you are looking to a political solution to set this country free with, uh, uh, what do you want, McCain's second failure? or planned failure, you know, what do you want? The point is you're not looking in the right direction. The ultimate victory for everybody listening to my voice worldwide tonight is on your face until you've touched heaven. I've told you, God is, is, is pouring out an amazing amount of grace. He's giving time for the stragglers, the lost sheep, the black sheep, my kind of brothers and sisters. You know, I used to, Doug, want to have a website. I don't know why I never did it, but I wanted to uh, have it called the Fellowship of the Black Sheep, okay? And it would have been welcome to anybody who's ever been hurt or, or damaged by by religious people. And if I gave my religious emails and put them up, I think I'm about ready to do it. Some of you would vomit. People who absolutely will strain at a gnat to swallow a camel, yet they will do nothing. And, of course, their secret uh, names under anonymous poster, this, that, or the other thing, or whatever, I, it's astonishing to me. So what Greg and I are talking about, and let me make it blunt, is the systematic implementation of the blue list. The blue list are law enforcement and military who initially cooperate with the subject, subjugation and the blowing away of their countrymen. Some time period, 30 days to 45 days. Okay, they always leave themselves a little leeway. At that end, you guys will be taken out, just like Hitler had the SS take out the SA. And so the point is, is they figured if you will turn on your countrymen, you'll turn on them too at the appropriate time. Concurrent with that, the Fukushima. I want to get to Fukushima. Fukushima was no accident. The global elite initiated that. And, and look, there are enough patents. If you look up earthquake patents and you look up heart patents, uh, you know, you look up all the patents that we've talked about. And, Doug, I want to recommend one of my books that's so critical for people to understand because all this documentation is there. I'm tired here. Well, they can't do that. For the first time in history, ten volcanoes came active in one day. Ten. Okay? Somebody wrote a story. I linked to it. It said six. And I said, uh-uh, those guys didn't do their homework. It's ten. And so the point is is that all of these high technological, demonically uh, initiated and, and instigated weapons are in play. And so now we have so many critical earthquakes. We had a 7.0, and this is all relevant to what Greg and I are talking about. 
It doesn't matter what they use to initiate it. What matters is what will happen to you when whatever initiates the action. You will be starved into submission. You'll hear the Judas goats, and I want to talk about something right now, Greg, and I want your feedback. Uh, I sent to Greg a, a prophecy I received, and I'll just say the guy's first name because it's not my job to embarrass anybody, but it is my job to say baloney, okay? I'd like to say a little stronger than that, but baloney seems like efficient or sufficient enough tonight. And in the prophecy, the man said that the Chinese and Russians were God's instrument of judgment and just go with them and they will be, uh, you'll be okay. You remember, Greg, when I sent that to you? The lie from the pit of hell, Steve, and I don't know who this gentleman is, uh, but I will tell you this. Those are the kind of people that I'm talking about tonight that are so deeply involved in lying and deception so that the American people will fall a little further asleep and say, well, we'll just wait and see what happens. But they're taking that as the authoritative word of God because this man uh, is, is trying to picture himself or paint himself as some kind of prophet. And I call him out at this moment, and I say, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I hope that your lies and your deception reap havoc upon your head and your household until you repent to the God that you claimed to have quoted. Well, and, and I'm looking for it. Maybe I'll find it in a minute. But the bottom line is this. I actually told Greg, I said, gee, it sounds like this guy was in a DHS briefing. And then, God bless Romy, she said, Steve, I'm always, always uh uh, Leary, of uh, my darling, my little ones, you know. Look, yeah. when, when, if you want to stay on the breast, breastfeeding, you know, uh, you got to understand that it's not right. It's not meant to be. Yet the pulpits in, of Amer in America uh, suffer. Okay, here you go. They suffer from nipple madness. They're like a bunch of guys spoon feeding or bottle feeding. That's a better word. The most uh, simplistic presentation, and I'm not talking about Jesus, of religion. That stuff, number one, isn't meant to be digested. There is no place in the scripture where God is impressed with the sacrifice of bulls and goats. He even says so. He said, it wasn't my desire. And by the way, some of you that want to defend the law and the Torah and everything you come at me with daily, guess what? It was given by angels. And, and I, I, I love the wisdom of God saying, okay, these guys are pretty smart. I'm, I'm not saying it's the exact uh, thing you said, but, but it wasn't good enough. The law was a schoolmaster that pointed us to Jesus Christ. I am not antinomian. That means I believe in the Ten Commandments. But when I hear nonsense of, behold my little ones, the Chinese, I know what the Chinese have planned. I know what the Russians have planned. And the, and the visions of Henry Gruber, what he saw taking place on the Russian invasion on the West Coast, and the brothers and sisters that saw in, entire groups of tens of thousands of people bulldozed alive in pits. I categorically reject that and shame on that brother. He may have started out in the spirit, but he sure ended in the flesh. You cannot and you must. The Bible says we have not yet resisted evil to the shedding of blood. And it's amazing, Greg. It's all these people that are even willing to stand up, speak up, act up, or even do the simplest thing. Like, let me just say this one more time. All you gun owners... If you don't go by tomorrow and notifying the NRA and saying, I want my dues and I want you guys to immediately field a legal team to go into every gun owner, I don't care if it's Joe Smith or Alex Blackwell, I'm just making these names up, who have been arrested for legally uh, carrying in open carry states and they have done nothing wrong, or the gentleman that Greg talked about earlier, if you do not do that as a member of the NRA, I doubt you got the balls to drop the trigger when someone's coming in the door. Now, I don't know how to be any more blunt than that. Greg, you know you've been trained as a military law enforcement officer. You know it's a pretty heavy thing to have to, you know, drop the hammer. The people coming against you 
don't have an issue with that. So if you can't even, in the rudimentary sense, get off your duffs and, and do it. And now I'm only using that because the NRA has, what, 3 million members? I don't know, Doug. Maybe it's more than that. I don't know. But if 3 million people would rise up, stand up, and say, we're tired of this, we're not going to have the Second Amendment. Because look, ladies and gentlemen, you may have your guns taken away. And let me say this. Guns is the least. You need to worry about your life. Yet the jihadis in this country are here under the complete protection of the slaughterhouse. They are equipped with the Benghazi weapons. The country had a chance to do something and didn't do it. And so I'm telling you, I think what these are, Greg, and I looked it up there while we were off the air. If you see the word plead in the Old Testament, plead, where God says he'll plead with his people, he'll plead with the nations, he'll lay out his case. We're laying Last out step. the case. We're Last laying step. it out. Go Last ahead. step, Steve. Yeah. I, I, look, look there, uh, you are so right on here. This, this is... This is incredible how this is all coming together, but it's it's of God, you see, because, look, the, tonight, uh, this afternoon, this evening, uh, the last t- a couple of days, I, I have spoken, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm going to mention the first names now, of uh, uh, four or five who, who said this would be the key for them and their family. Uh, there's so many more. But, Shanna, I'm talking to you tonight. Connie, out in the Midwest, I'm talking to you. Uh, uh, there is uh, Evelyn. Uh, I'm thinking of you in, in Illinois. Um, uh, Julie uh, in Ohio, and Julie in Wisconsin, and there are others. Uh, Tammy down in Oklahoma. You are pleading with with me, and you're you're pleading with God to show you tonight. Some breakthrough, and I and I'm I'm going to just utter a brief prayer here, ladies, uh, for you because I'm honoring your request, and I'm honoring the fact that y- you believed in this so much that you would put yourself out here. You know your situation. It's it's not that uh, you're doing this on on behalf of a of a of a compliant husband. It's that you're doing it on behalf of one that will not listen. And so I'm saying to you tonight. God, our Heavenly Father, one more time tonight in this broadcast, I want you to drop the absolute and complete knowledge on these wonderful women, these wives, who have put it all on the line, and they've been battling at home. They've been trying to convince their husbands. They've been trying to plead with them. They've used everything they know. Many of you ladies have been married for in excess of 15 or 20 years to these men. You know them well, and and yet they simply will not give up one inch of of their has to be their hard-headed uh, police attitude. And you're afraid for them. You've told me that. You fear for them. You told me that. You're afraid that they're so stubborn and hard-hearted that, that, that God might, might allow or, or it may occur that, that something will happen to them. And, and uh, so you're, you're desperate. And so tonight, Heavenly Father, give them the yes. assurance that the breakthrough yes, is within reach, that this can be done tonight. I, I ask them to lift their hands toward heaven. Grasp your hand. Give them the faith that they need. Continue that faith. And right now, Jesus, I beg of you to go to these men in their squad cars, in in their assigned positions, wherever it is, and move on their hearts right now. They're maybe not even hearing this broadcast. They probably aren't. But that you can move right now. We do this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and the one who will make this possible. Amen and amen. Gentlemen, it, it, it's come down to this. We've got to start winning military men and law enforcement and others. Uh, it, it just happens that that's my area of, of deep concern tonight to the Lord. End of story. Uh, uh, they, they, they will do the right thing if they know the right thing. They will be able to execute their jobs correctly if they know the correct thing to do. And they won't know that unless they have a relationship with the Lord, because the Lord will step through that dark cloud at the moment this all comes down. 
and he will tell those officers who are sending their men out in flanking positions in communities with armor and with artillery and some in some cases with aircraft and and they will they will be able to say to them look we've got to hold the enemy right where it is and i don't want the enemy to be the american people gentlemen i want the 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 enemy to to be those who have aligned themselves with the prince of darkness to destroy the nation of america because we've lost our way and we've become sin sick and and we're 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 giving everything up in 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 one fell swoop because it's easier and and we're just going to obey the law and we'll get our retirements and you may not live gentlemen and ladies to get your retirements the way things are going so why don't you do the right thing at least until you have the opportunity to maybe look at a retirement down the road it don't give me that nonsense don't Tell me that you can't do the right thing because money's involved. If that's what you're telling me, then, ladies and gentlemen, law enforcement and the military, you're no better than the enemy that we're trying to fight. You're part of that enemy. You're part of that group. Separate yourself now. Move away from it. I ask you in the name of Jesus to do that. Don't hold back. Do it now.